Hey everyone, what is up? It's Crazy Goalie here bringing you another Let's Build. So today we're going to be adding a little bit more detail to the house itself behind me. And um, that's pretty much about it. And it's uh, we're going to fill in that hole in the back too. So let's get this party started. So as I was saying before, we're gonna start adding the detail to the back of this house. The back of this house was completely empty, so I needed to start actually filling this area in. So what I ended up doing is I have to go individually, block by block, filling this whole entire place out. Now, <clears throat> it would be helpful if I had a mod or something of that matter to really help me as far as build this. but. Creative mode will just have to work for now. Um, you'll notice a lot in this video that there is a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean more than there should be, of lag. Reason is because of I accidentally never actually erased my uh, old Let's Build, and that's 45 minutes long, and so I guess Fraps was having issues. <laughs> So, as you can see, I'm going block by block, filling in the back here. Now, it's going to take a while. And by a while, I mean a while to fill in. It took me, in reality, of probably about 20 minutes to fill this whole entire back in. But you guys are going to get to see it, and it's only going to take me about two. <laughs> That's what I like about speeding things up. So, if you guys ever do a Let's Build or anything like that, make sure you always speed it up because if you don't speed it up I'm telling you what, you're going to be here forever um, you're going to get more episodes than you really want to and a lot of people don't want to sit there and really sit there and watch you build as far as as far as not sped up speeding it up makes it a lot more enjoyable to watch and of course listening to a little bit of music in the background as you build. I find is the easiest way as far as doing this kind of stuff is more people like to watch because they get something to listen to and they get to hear you as well. So as you can see I'm already almost finished. There we go, we got the nice little open back. I'm gonna fill that in right there and now we're gonna get a little panorama view here of it. And as you can see there's the picture in the corner that I was talking about of the front of the house. So, now obviously I need to start filling in the rest, and that's what we're going to be basically working on. We're going to be basically working on the front of those windows, we're going to be working on everything as far as frontal wise. Um, besides that, it's just basically detail after detail. So, now the biggest challenge I had was trying to get this proportioned. proportioned to the best of my ability as far as making it actually look good and as far as making it the way I need it to look as far as getting it as close of a representation of that picture in the corner you see so that's the I think that was the trickiest part is trying to get it relatively close or relatively uh, represented here um, I've never actually sat down and really done these kind of things. Um, I usually just build it and never record it. But I thought I'd bring it to you guys because it is going to be part of my uh, Feed the World series and you're going to see this house a lot. So I'm definitely going to have to build it for you. So as you can see here, there's some window right above, right next to that door that's right above it on the other building. And it's a really nice <clears throat> kind of tall uh, window. So what I end up doing is I'm sitting here going through it and I have to make it look good. Not only do I have to make it look good, I have to make it look close to the picture. So as you guys can see, I'm going through and actually right now I'm currently just working on the roof part. Trying to get it the way I need it to. Currently I'm sitting down with the picture in front of me and 
I gotta go. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, man, how am I gonna get this house to look like I want it to? So I end up coming out a lot more than I wanted to, but you know what? It's gonna throw my own twist on it. Um, it's not gonna be 100% um, accurate as far as um, the way it should be or the way that it shows in the picture. But it is going to be my own variation on it. And that's what I'd rather have than I'd rather try to completely copy the exact same thing. I find it a lot easier if you just build it to your knowledge or to build it to the best you can. I tried to use a brick stair here and you, it just didn't look good so I just filled it in with a brick. Uh, one of the brick blocks. So now here I'm going to come out and start working on this chimney. Now this chimney was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. So as you can see, I only come up one here, and I was like, mm, that doesn't look good at all. So here we go, working on the peak of it. And there's the one, one. Now, I don't want it completely blocked off here. Now, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, how am I going to get this to look like it should be? And without taking that end off, and it needs to be in the middle somewhat. It cannot be all centered. So as you can see here, I end up going out two blocks. I look at it and I realize, hmm, still not right. So let's add an extra layer away from it. So we actually have a middle to it, more or less, is what we're going for. So after I get done adding this middle part right here, now it's starting to look a lot better. There we go. We got that look that I need to look right there. That's the way it should look. Now we're coming down here with just some brick stairs and just basically fill this area in. And that was really simple for me and it was really easy relatively. And it, I thought it made it look really good. So as you can see I'm actually starting to do the roof again, starting to play around with the roof. Now, I didn't like the way the roof didn't come out. I usually like a roof to hang over the edge of the building a little bit instead of being directly on top. So, I'm sitting back thinking to myself, man, how is this roof from the back actually going to come up the way I need it to? So, but we'll worry about that detail a little bit later. So, as you can see, I replaced that block right there I get rid of that block that was in that corner with a, one of the brick stairs as you can see I'm currently lagging and that was because of my recording from last time that I never actually uh, got rid of once I once I was done with it um, but here eventually I'll get rid of this middle block right there and I'll actually fill that in with the bricks now I honestly think this was a very, very difficult build as far as anything goes. So now I'm trying to line this up as far as how am I going to get this to look. There we go. So now I'm just going to come in inside and fill in that little area. Now that's looking a lot better, I think, personally. Now, I neglected this recording. I never actually got to come out and give you another guys. This is a another turnaround around the actual house because it was actually just so not I want to say difficult I would have to say it was so such a pain in the ass really to um, stop your building process and fix the things that you needed to be fixed as far as that goes now I need to come back and fill in that up top as far as get that ledge to actually hang out the way I want it to and you'll see me here do that here shortly well I won't do it in this one I'll have to do it in another episode but as you can see I'm going around filling in the windows where the windows as far as they go inside the house now in the back of the house there is doors believe it or not throughout this whole entire window area a whole bunch of glass doors and I didn't like that, so you know what? I decided to put my own twist on it yet again and actually start just putting in windows. You'll see my own twist onto it as far as that goes. Now, here you see me doing the bottom 
bit of the windows. Now, here we go around the building. This is what it looks like so far. I'm liking the windows and I'm liking the way it looks. I need to fill in that giant hole in the back right there, too. So I'll eventually come back around to that as well and fill uh, that in and make that little slanted roof. Now you can see nice good looking chimney at the top there. That's looking great. I personally find it is looking like I need it to. So now I'm going to come in here, try a different glass just to see what it looks like. It looks like shit so I'll get rid of it anyways and just go back to the regular glass panes. So I accidentally knocked out a block and I had to come back in and fill that. So now probably next episode I'm thinking is I'm going to probably come in and actually start doing the interior decorating stuff. Now I need my glass door and I see <laughs> there's a paper wall block there and I thought it was kind of cool looking so I looked at it real quick. So I decided you know, what's going to look better? Hmm. Iron or wood? I find that wood matches this a lot better because it is a brick house. I think instead of uh, doing the iron, I don't. I just don't find the iron looks really good with it. It's basically, I find the wood a lot more attractive to the eye as far as that detail kind of goes. So as you can see, I'm coming back now, working on the end of the house right near where the garage is. There's a tall, uh, about six by six uh, window, or excuse me, uh, you'll see in the picture up there, it has a uh, three on each. So I decided I'm going to come around and do that. So now I'm going to start filling in the back here with my uh, brick stairs. And as you notice, it is lagging a little bit. You don't realize how much you lag unless you're actually looking at this. It's actually lagging so much it looks like I just finished it really quickly. Like, look at that. But, hey, that's what speeding up does for you. Now it's actually starting to look a lot better, I feel. It's really starting to... Now i got to work on the second floor window stuff. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. And I'm going to actually... Because there's actually two windows here. There's not actually... There's three windows in the front as far as the first floor goes. So I'm looking at that and I'm like, hmm, how does that look compared to the picture? And it looks, I think, a lot better than it did. So now I'm going to connect up here and extend the roof from the from the front. So it's actually draping over. And as you notice, there's a lot of lag going on there. So I think this looks a lot better than what it did. Now, here's a little porch area right above the uh, very front of the windows also. But I'm going to fill this in first, get the windows in place to the way I want them, and that looks good to me. Now, I'm going to come back here, and I'm actually going to start filling in, making the uh, extensions as far as uh, crossing into each other. As you can see, there we go. Set the time back to daytime so we can see it a lot better in the light. And now I'm saying to myself, Man, how am I going to do this second floor? How am I going to decorate this second floor? This decoration building stuff is going to be a killer as far as um, how how I'm going to... i got to figure out basically what kind of wood I want to use and all that stuff. So it's going to be very difficult doing the second floor, I find at least. It will. It should be. It should be very difficult. Or hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. As you can see, I started working on that. And I was like, hmm, no, it doesn't look good. So I need to actually start working on the interior design before I actually even finish any of this. As far as uh, getting the roof back on and all that stuff. I got to get the interior stuff done before I actually start working on the rest. So as you can see, I'm starting to fill in the giant holes of the ceiling that I have on the top. Now, I look around and I'm going, man, that looks actually really good. So now I'm going to start placing in the doors. And I was like, hmm, I don't like it the way they were faced. So I'm going to put them right there. And now what I'm going to do is get rid of them again. <laughs> and actually going to fill in the top right here with the, um, the brick. Now I'm starting to use glass panes here. I thought glass panes would work well. And believe it or not, it actually has a little gap. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. Um, 
but it goes by so fast. And I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna have to switch regular to, gla to regular glass blocks. So there we go. Now that's looking a lot better, and it's actually connected. Now, as you can see, there is a porch that comes out from that second floor. And I was like, man, how is this porch holding up at first? And then I looked at it a little bit more closely, and I realized how it was set up. So as you can see, I come through here with some slabs. And I'm trying to find the perfect slab. And I like this brick slab, but then I realized that as I went to go add these brick stairs, it does not work at all. So as you can see, it's starting to lag a little bit more, but I scratch that whole entire idea and I say, screw it, I'll work on that next time. So guys, this is my house, so far. We just worked on a little bit of detail and I'm adding a little bit of detail. So guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like down below, comment down below, and if you already haven't, subscribe. And I'd like to thank you all for watching this Let's Build of building a farmhouse. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.